What's going on, everybody? Welcome back uh, to another War of the Spark thing. Should we do sealed? I don't think so. I don't want to do like seven wins. Is this best of one? Is sealed best of one? It feels like it would be because of the. Well, no, it doesn't look as. Thank huh. you. Elk Tears, 14 months in a row. Frank draws his 10th land and second spell. Also, Frank, I know what it's like to lose, to feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail nonetheless. Dread it, run from it, destiny still arrives. <laughs> or should I say I have? Wow. I'm inevitable, I guess. That's a little, uh, that's a little Thanos meme there. Oh, boy. Is this best of three or best of one? It's got to be best of one because you... You get three losses, right? Do you want to do a sealed or do we want to draft, guys? What's the what's the verdict here? Two thousand gems is a lot. Yeah, we're just gonna do draft. Best of one, yes, flooded. Draft. We have two for draft, one for best of one, and I assume the yes was sealed. So that's two for two. Two at two two. Or unless unless our endless badger was literally just answering the question and not expressing an opinion. Draft, bunch of drafts. All right, draft it is, boys. Whoop, hop on in. Oh, a feather. Stop defaulting to that, please. I'm asking you nicely. I like fire mind vessel a lot. Being able to ramp to like big stuff is pretty nice here. Herald is good. We could just take Feather and build around it, but I don't know if that's that good. Yeah, I think Fire Mind Vessel is actually very, very good. Um, it also lets us play... Not trying to watch a Boros Pump Spell deck right now. Oh, wow. Dang. I don't think fe I, I, Feather... I don't know if Feather's... A broke is it broken as in like it doesn't work or it's broken as in like super strong because how many cards are there that even trigger it you can have an insert sorcerer's will exiles that the targets a creature you control exile it instead of putting it in your graveyard I mean that seems good I kind of want to take this just to build around it I also when it when this costs red white white I also don't want to be adding green to our deck. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, we'll take this. Whatever. Eternal Sky Lord, that guy's very good. Wanderer Strike. We can target. We can exile our own creature, and then we just get it. Get it back at the end of the turn. That's pretty cool. It's not that cool. Uh, Wonder Strike's still, still pretty good, though. Uh, Hwatley's Raptor is fine. Hwatley herself. We could definitely build around Hwatley here. It's also just a white card. I mean, this is also a 4 4 with Hwatley. Problem is, this is just very solid removal, especially being able to proliferate. And without the creatures, actually, if the worst creature this comes back, power ought to be shared. All right, we'll take the Hawali. Ooh, Chandra's Pyro Helix. Thank you. The man with face. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Pyro Helix seems good, but we can also take the Rub Belt Rioters, which goes well with Hwatli. It also forces us to be green. Ugh, man, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of options here. Spell Gorge are weird, also probably pretty good with a feather deck because you're just gonna be able to recast our things. 
I think it's one of these three. I'm just gonna go with the weird here. Oh, Grim Initiate, don't care about it. Charm Stray, don't care about a Locksmith Charger. Other creatures you can bring Vigilance, fine. Uh, probably Triumph, right? This just seems very good. Blind Blast. Uh, Dovin is actually not terrible. Meanwhile, our options are 2-2, Blind Blast, Iron Bully, or 2-5 for 4, which is holds the ground pretty decently. It also works very well with Wally. We'll take the we'll take the Ironclad Crovat Crovat Crovod. Uh, untap all creatures you control. Creatures you control flying get plus two plus two until end of turn. Two three floaty boy, which is actually a three three floaty boy. This proliferates, which doesn't do much right now, except for put another counter on Spellgrid Reader for Wally. Maybe that's good. Could just take another five five. Rally wings seems very good. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the rally wings. That seems very very strong. Uh, hearth fire seems heart fire, not hearth fire. Yeah, we'll take heart fire. Or in here, stone blades plus two plus two, and then we get it back. Hmm, is that better than a random hearth fire? I don't think so. We can probably also pick another one up, like right here. Burning prophet also very good with Hawali. I think I'm steering more towards a Hawali strategy than a um, than a feather strategy here. Topple turret ogre, rising populace, or another iron crovad, which is a five-five with the Hawali out. Blades for a feather, no. I don't know what to take here. Oh, uh, what do we got here? One, two, three drops. Three, three drops. I'll just take the two five. Oh, the worst creature came back, which is actually what we're hoping for, because of Watley. Uh, blind blast is not great, but we're not going to really be playing green here. So, Grim Initiate, sure. Wow, that's a lot of blind blasts. Oh, Finale of Eternity number two? That's pretty good. I like it probably more than the Wanderer. Jaya's Greeting is great, but I might just want to take the Mythic. I don't think we're going to be playing it, though. Does that matter? Should we just take it anyway? Just so we have it for our play stuff? I wish I could... Can I go see my stuff right now? Do I need that? I have one. Hmm. It's probably, I mean, Greeting is definitely the card. This also doesn't have Defender, which is interesting. The problem is, like, all Mythics are worth the same, right? So, all right, I'm going to take the Greeting here. I'm going to feel bad about it, but, you know, trying to trying to give you guys the, the real deal here. Enforcer Griffin, pretty good. It's a 4-4 flyer. Another heart fire. Mm, I don't know how many heart fires we want here. I'm probably just going to take the five drop because we don't have one yet. Oh, Teferi Time Raveler seems great. We already have a rally. I don't. Eh, Dreadhorde Twins is also very, very good. This time I'm probably just going to take Teferi here. Maybe. It doesn't really matter. I have like 66 rare. Eh, I'll just take the good jackal. Man, I'm just passing all these good cards for you guys. Nahiri's Stone Blade seems nice. There's a Light Shield that probably come back. The Wanderer is also pretty good. The Wanderer is actually very good, right? Let's get started. There's a Defiant Strike. There's also a Wanderer Strike, which is better than Defiant Strike. I hate taking these over like significantly better cards. It's 
It's one of these two. I don't know which one it is. This is just solid removal. We already have a good amount, though. I'll take the Defiant Strike. We don't have anything similar to that yet, so... Plus one... Oh, yeah, that's that's actually great, too. Uh, Tabal Creatures... Yeah, that card's great. Tabal Creatures, they control. You guys gain lifelink. That seems really strong. Uh, I'll just take the Dovin's Veto for the... Teo's Light Shield, if we play it, it's... Okay, there's the there's the heart fire. Seems good. Yeah, Gateway Plaza seems fine. Oh wow, we get a stone blade anyway. All right. Everything's coming up Millhouse. And a blast zone. A card that's pretty useless when you don't have modern as a format. Sacrifice any number of creatures and planeswalkers and there's twice that many one one counters. Do we have anything we care about here? Yeah, it's probably Divine Arrow. I do like Invading Manticore. I don't think we need a third hard fire. I'm not I might not even play the second one. I'm probably on for Also making oh the the O3s do have Defender, which is pretty sad. I think we just want the Divine Arrow. Ooh, Jaya. Deals two damage to any target. Actually, Jaya might be good here because we do have other burn spells. There's also a Burning Prophet, which I think is very good in this deck because it triggers both with... It, it works both with the Hawali and with the, uh, the pump spells. I'm going to assume this either comes back or we can get another one. Ready for your first lesson? Tybalt's Rager, two mana. When it dies, it deals one damage to any target. It doesn't seem great, even though it's an uncommon. Trusted Pegasus seems great. So do both of these. Uh, discard all the cards in your hand. Yeah, I don't think I care about that. I think we just want Trusted Pegasus here. Although Ajani, being able to splash this Ajani is also not a bad... Because we do have a Gateway Plaza in the sideboard, and we could get a gilded, a gilded boy. So it's either Johnny or Trusted Pegasus here, I think. I think the upside to a Johnny but is good we enough. Could be much greater together. Oh, we're not playing a Kiora. Wanderer Strike. That's nice. Another Gateway Plaza, which could be very good for us. Raging Crunch is really strong. It's probably better than Teo's Light Shield for sure. Hold on. I just heard a bunch of noise and I was like, was that rain? And yeah, it's like pouring rain right now. That's crazy. I actually don't think we need any more uh, removal. I think our removal is pretty solid here. We also have a lot of defensive creatures, which is really nice. I think Crunch is just strong enough. Our deck seems very strong. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm crazy. I'm going to take the Crunch here. Oh, Sahili actually seems pretty good with this deck. Wow, that seems nice. What's Battlefield Promotion do? Put a 1-1 counter on target creature. That creature gets first strike. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I love a good challenge. This should be fun. Oh, Burning Prophet. That's nice. Uh, I did want a second Burning Prophet. Uh, I don't care about either of these. So we're at 24 cards now? Oh, Gateway Plaza. Makes my life easier. Makes it easy. Makes that Johnny Splash easier. Uh, I can put this in there as well. 
Uh, topple's nice. If actually raging, that's a late raging crunch. Gonna get our crunch on. This deck also seems good. Am I just like misevaluating these decks? Uh, I think I got an angry stem crunch. We still need to make another cut, I believe. Wow, that's a late hearth, hearth fire. I don't have a ton of creatures to sacrifice. So I'm not. I'm not too concerned with that. Uh, how many two drops do we have? One, two, three. I don't think we're gonna be playing. I think we're gonna playing one of these. Maybe not both. This is twenty-three. So okay, that's good. Don't need this. It's either. I think it's. I think it just might be the six drop. I don't know if we're gonna play it, but I like it's okay to have. Wow, the burning prophet did come back. Oh, man, another burning prophet. All right, we'll take Sarkon's catharsis. Take another one of these. Another catharsis. We can just burn them out. We can just play multiple Sarkon's catharsis. Okay, so. We basically got it all. I don't think we want two forests. We might just want one forest, but probably not. Hmm. So this is eight plus seven, 17. Okay, that's enough lands. We need one cut. Let's look at, there's only 12 creatures. Yikes. I guess we do have a lot of planeswalkers. Jaya, Wander, Ajani, Hwatli, Sahili. That seems good. Probably cut a Burning Prophet here. Go down to 11 creatures, though. Hmm. Hmm. I don't mind one six drop. Do we have the butt support? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we're building around. We have 1-3, one, 1-3, three, one, three, one, three, one, three. Crunch is not as good. Feather's better. Uh, these guys are both 5-5s. Five this is an unaffected. This is a 4-4. Four, four. This guy becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Could just play 41 cards. Not really too. <laughs> Butt support is my favorite geriatric metal band. Wow. I think it's actually okay like this. I'm gonna take out one hearth fire just to add like another creature, just because I don't really want to go to. I don't know, like twelve creatures here. I think burning profit's actually pretty good here. All right, we're gonna try it like this with forty-one. I don't know if it's good. We're gonna find out. It has not been good so far. Mm, better. Uh, yeah, we can keep that guy. Scream at a Musil is a good one. I agree. That's a that's a solid single. Draw that Hawatli. We can trigger Burning Prophet, we can scry, and we can attack for four. Hmm. 
black stool, Jesus God. Oh my God. Oh, that's fascinating. Seems aggressive. Uh. All right. That was interesting. Wall of runes. Yeah, they basically got rid of a Kazmina and a Bane Hound to get rid of our 1 3. Are they going to give it... No. I was like, are they going to give it plus two, plus oh? I guess we'll just play this. Oh no. You got it. It's like a, a Feather Hwatley hybrid. And just like Florida would do, the rain has now stopped. So. This is what we assumed they were going to do last turn, so getting the two for one out of them is pretty nice. I feel like we've gotten we've gotten two two for ones out of them so far. So I'm actually surprised that they still have three cards in hand. But I assume that has to do with them uh, us hitting a million lands. Don't counter this with your no escape again. Oh, we should have done this first because I forgot it. I forgot it would have just plus this guy. That was pretty bad. Okay, sure. Lance, it was good, right? It was so good, dude. Okay, you got it.
Well, I like that this Dread Horde Twins with Defiant Strike can kill anything. So let's play you first. Yeah, I feel like this game's over. <laughs> Dude, the whole movie I was like... <gasps> Alright, we're just gonna get rid of this guy. Enforcer Griffin, we got three mana? Alright, cool. I think we won. I think the game has ended. Oh, what are we doing against this deck? Nothing really, right? I'm really tempted to just play the double Sarkon's Catharsis deck. I think we're fine. Although maybe that maybe that deck is just better. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, we got that feather. We need two white though, so it's ah, still turn three feather. That's pretty good. And we got the defiant strike. Oh, this is great. Ah, <laughs> Valter, glad you appreciate, it, buddy. That's one of the things I do try to do. I can't always remember. Like it's it's it can be difficult, but I always like to put names to faces. I see. Alright, well, we're just going to Gateway Plaza here. Because I want to be able to definitely cast Feather and not... Uh, I would rather have guaranteed nothing and then Feather than Burning Prophet and maybe Feather. So... All right, don't kill my feather. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, you took out my six drop, huh? Okay. Let's get one crunchy boy. Oh wow, that's nuts. Oh boy. Get that lifelink, buddy. Did I say that quote? Is that why you keep saying that? Is that did I say that? Bobby Miser, as I have mentioned a bunch of times, Endgame, uh, not, that's not to say that, uh, that's not to say that I mind, but, uh, Endgame was fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna play this guy.
Yeah, this game feels over. Yeah, be careful though, no spoilers in the chat, guys. For those who have not seen it. first. Yeah, this is fine because we can play our Johnny. And if we draw a feather we can play that. Doing alright. Eyes without a face. Oh, let's hit a red so we can play Sahili into a Johnny, make a servo, and then we can just... Oh, we did not. Okay. Well, that's sad. Alright, they didn't play anything again, which is nice, because now we get a chance to... I guess we just play a Johnny here. And have them counter it. They did not do that. Teach you by now, do you see the benefits of peace? Do you see the benefits of peace? Do you see it, guys? Do you see the benefits of peace? Okay, a little crunchy boy. Probably just gonna play five drop though. Do you see the benefits? Oh my god, he's gonna ask us if we see the benefits of peace like 900 times. Now, do you see the benefits of Reese's PCs? Now, do you see the benefits? Okay, draw two. That's just divination. Oh boy, here we go. Look at the top three, put them on the bottom of your library. Every time. <laughs> Never fails. Has yet to fail. Um. Shall always conquer darkness. Eyes without a face. Okay, well, a second red here would be nice at some point. kill this guy and then we're just gonna Gideon's triumph to get rid of the 6-6 six, six. now do you see the benefits of peace Plus a blood trove, what's going on? Oh no. Make sure you proliferate on nothing. Oh look at that, what a cute little bird. Okay, this is getting sad. I feel like this game is not even close if we just have another red source to start making guys and putting counters on them and crunching. Were 
not destined to fight. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. One buck crunch. One buck crunch? Not one crunch buck? Oh, you just proliferate on nothing again. Man, all these proliferates for nothing. Look at this. Proliferate with nothing. Proliferate with nothing. The deck actually seems very good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I have a feeling they're trying to build to a finale. Boy, these crunches are really, really gumming up my crunch in life here. They have two cards, we have two cards. Light shall always conquer darkness. <sighs> Light shall always conquer darkness. We got a little two three? Okay. Playing this actually doesn't do anything. We must want to wait till this, and then we can play this after. If I have to light the way, I no, actually, that doesn't make sense because I forgot the vigilance. Oh, they got another counter spell. Wow, they're just killing it with the counter spells, my dude. Going to three, huh? Bold strategy, Cotton. Not bold enough. Alright, so they're just playing a bunch of counter spells. I kind of like Catharsis here instead of like some Durly creatures. Yeah, we're just going to bring in all the burn spells. Hearth fire. You'll get caught up in the hearth fire. Uh, Wanderer seems pretty bad. Bond doesn't seem great here. Yeah, I think this is fine. One lander, huh? Hmm. Okay. That's much better. Hmm. One three, one three. Wally. Play this first because I'd rather get the scrying and the benefits and the whatnots. They have we've seen like three of the counter spells that have no escape, so I'd rather encounter a stupid spell gorger than a than a valuable card. This guy too? A 2-5? Sure. No escapes for days. Got it. 
one for. <laughs> Fantastic. Boy, that's good stuff. Oh, you got three counter spells in your five in your six card mulligan. That's incredible. like you had the perfect card and you drew the exact number of lands you needed. Magical. So magical. So they've drawn three counters and it commenced the end game in their mulligan. That's very good. I mean, we're actually, all of this one damage at a time is actually pretty relevant when we have double Sarkons, Catharsis, and double Hearthfire, heart, heart fire in the deck. Crunchy, 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 crunchy. What kind of blood card do you have? Totally lost this guy. Put on top of your library. They're trying to figure out which one they want to save. They're either going to totally lost this, so they save this, or totally lost this, so they save this. To the surprise of no one. I'm going to bottom this guy because he doesn't do anything at the time. Oh, and then you got to amass one. That's wait. Why did you? Oh, because you proliferated. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, I guess we're probably dead here. This is probably the best mulligan to six I've ever seen. Best mulligan to six I've ever seen in my life. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Can't cast this unless we hit a sixth land, which we don't really want. Thank you. Okay. This seems fine. Snarky Sarah, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I'll keep this on top. I don't love it.
Unless there's a feather like right underneath it. The burn spells are also stronger because the uh, the one counter spell that they've been playing cannot hit spells only. That's good. Ocean man a geode. Take me by the hand. I have Dovin's veto for that, even though it is an uncommon. Oh, you see. Oh, God, do I want this? Like, we just take a turn off and play a Johnny? I don't think we care about that. Hey, it's all the lands from your opening hand that you mulled away. That's true. Um, all right, I guess we'll just attack here. And then you'll draw a million cards, I'm sure. No. I don't even want to play Raging Crunch just because I don't want them to just counter it. But maybe that's fine. I don't really know. I mean, they have five cards. There's no way they don't have... Um. Actually, we should have let this resolve first, right? Because then the scry would be more relevant. We can actually put this on the bottom. I still think it's fine to draw after that. Yeah, that's actually fine. We can keep that. Because next time we get to play two creatures, and they might not have two, two responses. one. Oh wow, that guy resolving is big game. Big game. Wow, Alan, that is insane, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wow, so amazing. Dovin's Veto, how nice, dude. What's going on, buddy? I'm putting chat in Ocean Man only mode for the next 60 seconds. Oh, dear God. Yeah, I also feel like they never don't have it. It's kind of... It's kind of something, man. 
it's kind of something, Ocean Man. Oh, no escape. Okay, well, that's good to know you have, I guess. They're at one. Oh, good. They get to copy their Thunder Drake. Thunder. The thunder. Hotly in the thunder. Who do you think you are? Wow, they really just have it all. That's just perfect. Thank you. Quacker 2000, Ocean Man, take me by the hand, leave me to the land, like you understand. Is that right? I think that is right, actually. Um, so we could actually trade one for one, but that seems pretty bad. So I guess we'll just play Huali here, since they cannot counter it. Tell me your story. And no crunching for us. Well, this does not counter uh, the other hearth fire that's heart fire that's in our deck. So I guess we got that going for us, but I mean the fact that they had the Dovin's veto for the heart fire is pretty impressive. Here you go, no escape this. Wait, what? Really? Alright, well, no attacks, I guess. That's fascinating. Well, judging by our opponent's, uh, you know, counterspell luck, I'm, I'm not surprised the auger hit this game. Oh, good. You just totally, totally lost it there. They have eight mana. They actually could have gone counterspell, totally lost, and put two counters on this. Are you kidding me right now? This feels like a joke. How about one heart heart fire off the top? Yep. Boy, do I. So, what are you talking for? 4, 8, 16, 21, huh? So, if I block here, we take 4, 8, 12, 17, we go to 1. That's vomitous. Yep. One to one. Hard fire one time. <laughs> I thought it was. It was so close, dude. That's hilarious. Because I saw a big ball of fire on a card, and that's. Looks really similar. They also have three blockers. Yep. Cool. <sighs> oh, my connection was lost. Because of course it was. Well, reconnect, I guess, even though everything was looked fine. Because, of course, they get to one, and of course, they have the Dovin's Veto. Well, maybe this, maybe this draft ends sooner than we think.
Last opponent was Gota, now it's Togek. What was with these, like, five letter word names that aren't actually words? Ocean man, ocean man, and man, man, and man, and man, and man. Why you got two two ones and I got a one three, huh? Well, seems pretty good. Well, we're not going to just run a Johnny out on this board. We'll probably run Big Fat Boy out. Dreadhorde Twins is nice, but, like, they just... I don't want to double block here. I'm going to say no attacks. You got it. You got it. You have it. You have gotten it. It has been gotten. attack with this guy? No, we'll just no attacks here. I'm fine with that. If they have any kind of trick like giant growth or d divine divine arrow like that's fine. Oh, wonder we could just exile that dude. That seems good, right? Bottom. My skills are as sharp as my sword. Inquisitor Goda, I actually, yeah, no, I didn't think you were sniping at any point. I appreciate you saying so, but yeah, your luck was insane, dude. Like, you, you had, like, a counter spell literally every single time you needed one. Um, and end up winning at one life. Seems good. Uh, next. One, two, three, four, five. That doesn't do anything for us. I guess you just attacking with this guy. Uh, but then they just trade with this. Yeah, no attacks is fine here. I guess we could div divine arrow one of these dudes, but that doesn't seem great. Yeah, and like it had to be it had to be Dovin's veto because otherwise, like the other ones aren't going to counter heart fire. Um. Yeah. All right. Pass two attackers, I guess. Okay. My turn. Oh wow. Tap all your dudes. We attack for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're just gonna play a Johnny because a Johnny actually gives vigilance. Um, yeah, that's fine. I don't, I don't have any problem with Gideon's triumph here. We could be much greater. Light shall always conquer darkness. Uh, all other guys have two, so like, if we attack with. The problem is they can attack with, we can think of block with both here. Uh, I guess we still have Divine Arrow up. Yeah, that seems pretty good. All right. Okie dokie. Oh, they're just, uh, they're just feeling the burn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure next turn if we activate this and play Bond of Discipline, they're basically just dead, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, that's pretty good. Huh. That's fascinating. I wonder if they forgot about the Vigilance? No, there's no way, right? Divine Arrow on this guy. You have one card? 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Wait, did the wait the divine? Oh, because of the wanderer! Oh my god, I totally forgot about the wanderer preventing all the damage. Prevent all non-combat damage that we dealt to you and other permanents you control. That's insane. I actually forgot about that. That's hilarious. Yeah, we're just gonna. Uh, I have not felt like the client has felt laggy, but. Then again. Yeah, I'll keep this in. Oh, I like this a lot. Feather into Sahili into Defiant Strike seems good. I was like, why is my creature still alive? I mean, the shame... Oh god, here we go. World yields to art, not oppression. Uh, yep. That, you know what? Either's fine. You can choose. Ooh! Believe it or not, you don't actually need blue to play a hybrid mana card. That's uh That's a little unknown unknown fact there. Well, let's go to round four, I guess. He said presumptuously. I mean next turn we can go crunch, defiant strike, make another servo, draw another card, get the defiant strike back. Yeah, that's not gonna. Neither of these guys are really gonna do what you, what you, what you want them to do. There's another red source, so even, even this deals an extra damage. I'd rather play it next turn because I'd rather be able to defiant strike every turn. We can defiant strike. This is yeah. This is not okay. Oh, this is nice because they can't actually target the feather there. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to block... Actually, I'll just block the one. I don't care about... Oh, this has first strike, though. Yeah, Sahili can take two here. That's not a big deal. Then you can proliferate, put one counter on here, but then it still dies to feather, so they have to all right, so we're gonna play you. We're gonna play you. Time to set something on fire. Oh, we didn't even use the... Oh, wow, we could have just killed this. I guess it's... I guess it's fine. <laughs> it's whatever, man. Yep, don't care about that. Jesus, Define Strike every turn. Unbelievable. Whatever. Would have been better if we activated, but... I'll, I'll, just, I'll, I'll take a chum block here. Oh wow, Darth Mao. Yeah, that's surprisingly good. I enjoy it. How'd this guy get big? Doesn't matter. He's dead.
missed. You like how we just missed out on the scry trigger there? I'm not very good at this game. Um. Watch this. I hope they forget about the guy. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, it's pretty bad actually, cause, cause five five. Yeah, that's pretty sad. I'm bad at this game. We could have killed this in Divine Era and saved our feather, but I guess we're just gonna die. Now. Guess I'll just die now. Um. I mean, I still think we're way ahead, but. Okay. Okay. Pass. Pass. Okay, so we're gonna play you. Play a journey. Trigger all the things. Didn't want that, but I'm just I'm just playing really fast right now because I feel like we're way ahead. You realize I do not stand alone. Are you watching closely? If I have to light the way, I will. Play land this turn, right? Okay. Okay, they just died. Yeah, this is why it doesn't really like. It's kind of not relevant. Whatever's happening is not really relevant. Oh, let me claim my prize. I'll keep this hand. Any land lets us play a crunch. That's a land, all right. Oh, what up, Willie G? Smithers, have those rolling stones killed. That's nice, because now we have a 3-drop, a 4-drop, a 5-drop, and a 6-drop. We have all the drops that we could possibly want. Oh, that's another 4-drop, you know, just in case. What do we play here? I'm going to play this guy first. I say no attacks. If we can play this next turn and just shoot this guy... Whew. Got some. Well, that's that's better. But I mean, if they want to spend their whole turn just killing the giant, I think that's fine. Do we want this? Mm, no, I think we can find another land. Fine, and we also have a place to make. Regardless. I don't do delicate. I'm hoping they forget that this deals an extra point and they block it. That would be amazing. Alternatively, they just take five, which is okay, too. Tradesies! That seems good. I want to assume our opponent's going to go end of turn or in combat commence the end game because that's a card they always have. Oh, that's fascinating. Well, isn't that fascinating? Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Is that his first strike, not double strike? Ready to 
I mean, we could sacrifice this to kill this. It's two damage to any target. Eh. It's got lifelink too. Man, it's doing so many things. Um, we're just gonna keep Jai up. Probably want to just hearth fire this now. I don't really feel like dealing with it. We still get to scry. Could have also shot their face, sacrificed Jaya, and then attacked with two more. Do we not get the scry? Why are we cast? We did it give me the scry, and I just missed it. Oh, it's part of the cost, I see. That makes sense, I guess. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yep, I get it. I get it. Gaining five life. Jaya does not kill that dude. Jaya only deals two damage. This dealing four is great, though. You got it. I wonder what it is. Oh, it's a Sahili. Man, this two five is just getting getting in there, just doing doing the work. Interesting. I guess we'll just play Dreadhorde Twins here. Oh, that was just a chump block straight up. Interesting. When I was in college, Henry Winkler came to sing for 1950s style sock hop. I played guitar in the school jazz band but missed the week. The professor would have been would have asked me to play in the Fonz's backing band. It's been like 12 years and I say, is that true? That sounds insane. This is where they go commence the end game to offer you. Nothing. Nothing. Interesting. I wouldn't make up something that serious. You might. Okay, you got it. End of the turn. A bead of purple haze? What is that? Is that is that weed? Are you talking about are you talking about Mary Jane? The devil's let us Dios me up. Oh, this is the Vivian Reed mirror match. I'll keep this hand. 2 5, 4 4. We got that gateway plaza on the turn dose. Now we got this profit into iron clad crowbad. Iron clad crowbad. Alright, so she's gonna take four. I don't really see a reason to play that. We can just block a dude. No blocks. Oh, 
Oh, look at that guy. That is a dude that is gonna make us... You gotta run for your life if you can. You will know the man. That's the end. A little go. That's a negative three. She starts at seven, but you got a negative three to to do the thing. Come on. Oh man, I trust that Pegasus is such a jerk. Counter. I'll counter your guys so that all my floaty boys are gonna do this is gonna do the work of the do 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 that's how they sound. That's not how they sound, I suppose. Alright, well, we'll get in there with you alone. No attacks whatsoever. Come on, don't get rid of my enforcer griffin. I'm gonna wander strike it. I'm gonna attack you again. Alright, don't care about that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We can't do two of one. We can play you. Uh, definitely keeping that on top. Our destiny is greater than ever. Uh, three, three. Um, well, this is the only one we can actually attack with profitably. This is going to deal... F I don't think we even attack. Let's no attack here. Play Gateway. Gateway Palooza. And we'll just gain five here. That's a big dude, but you got nothing to proliferate onto, my dude? And then we get to wander and just exile it? That seems good, right? Bottom. There are two kinds. I didn't even have to target. It knew. All right, now we're definitely getting in there with this guy. We got the divine arrow back up. Oh, I guess they're just taking it. All right, well, I'm surprised by that. Seven mana. That seems like more than you need, so I don't think you really needed that seventh. Sure. I guess you have gotten it. Time to move on. What's the flavor text on this? Ravnica's defenders watched in horror as Oketra's shot pierced the body of the Pegasus. Gideon tumbled through the air, black blade in hand. Black blade. I don't think they just trade here, right? That seems bad. I also feel like we're ahead here, so I'm just going to start getting in there. Just get in the zone. Okay. Whoa! Sure. I'm just going to pass here. Are you going to pass as well?
Dunzo. So all your team is gone? Seems good. I mean, you can't kill Hwatley here. And then if you try to, you take 10, 17 damage? That's a, that's a dig if I ever saw one. Get in the zone. Hwatley zone! Oh, you got it. 3-2. Do you come at me, bro? Is that what you want to do? Didn't think so. Uh, you can stay home. Everybody else can. Get in there. Do it. Do the deed. They're going to double block one? Nope. They're going to single block, single block. Oh yeah, this is not looking well. I think we won. This is where I feel the explosion. Felt it. Hagen loves Cage. <laughs> That's a solid meme. Oh boy. Alright, well 3-1. Run for your life. Yeah, Goto, Togek, and Kosis. I agree. It's all weird, like five. L A I A N. La Ian? This is another one. This is four opponents in a row with random, like, five letter names. Very fascinating. I'm fascinated by this naming convention that is happening. That's aggressive. I mean, why? I mean, this is the this is your channel, though, bro. Like, this is the channel where like Hagen loves Cajun makes the most sense. I was actually thinking there were bots. I'm like, is this just like a bot? Are these like just bot accounts that actually have? This is surprisingly aggressive. I am uh, a little uncomfortable with what's happening here. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Yeah, also to be fair, it's Elk Tears did not get banned for saying Hagen loves Cajun. He got banned for saying <laughs> Elk Tears basically goes in other people's channels and advertises Hungry Howies to them. So Oh wow, I was really hoping you put on that guy. That's fantastic. This is fantastic. Oh, it doesn't matter. this is not divine, so I guess it doesn't matter. Thank you. Yeah, that sucks. Phil, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Yep, this is pretty bad for us. I'm not going to lie. Why would you lie about that? That's weird. Oh, come on. Absolutely come on. Yep, seems good. I'm gonna vomit in my mouth, dude. I'm gonna concede the game. Wow, this was not even a. This was unbelievable. That was a thing that just happened. I don't think there's anything really need. Okay. You wield the sword? We need double white for that. Single white for everything else.
Oh yeah, this is basically the same hand, but yeah, yeah, keep. Also, to the goldfish stream. Oh boy. Um. Oh boy. I really want that, but I don't have the luxury of keeping it because we don't have a fourth or a fifth one. Challenge you want, then a challenge you get. Wow! Double flux channeler and zero. No attacks. Zero things to proliferate onto. And Karn's Bastion and Double Flux Channeler? Wow. Yep, you got it. Don't care about that. Oh, that's a little crunchy boy. That's nice. That card's pretty good if we can ever cast it. Same with both these. Our hand is great if we can ever cast it. They didn't do anything, they just took it. Huh. Bottom. Don't have five lands. Draw Gideon's Triumph. Uh, that I will keep. That guy seems fine. That was a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid defiant strike. Makes two one ones, draws us a card. Gideon's thing. Yep, that's fine. Oh, that's there we go. Now we're talking. Uh, no attack. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hitting a lander for this invading manticore would be nice. But alas, no such luck. No such luck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can actually just attack for ten here. Gain ten. I mean, once we play this guy, we just win, right? So, no attacks. We'll just end them. Yeah, that's fine.
Man, this is like the best proliferate deck I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're just gonna attack there, huh? I mean, this they can make this an 8-8 eight, eight with the proliferate. They have no cards in hand. Four, are we willing to like trade Raging Crunch and Divine Arrow for that? I don't think so. Innovation knows no bounds. I will return. Well, that's fascinating. <laughs> yep, you can keep that. I will teach you humility if I must. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We're still one shy. What's the sound of Johnny makes? Mow. Okay, so both of these are going at a Johnny? Yeah, no blocks. Thanks. I will return with more by my side. Hmm. And Faden, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh three. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That is incredibly sad. I guess we just play this. Block this, hope we don't die. And then that's our that's our plan there. Yeah, okay. Well, now we have to block two things, I imagine. Oh, they just didn't oh, now they're just dead. I could have sworn they should have attacked. I don't know why they didn't attack with these guys last turn. That's pretty crazy. And Faden, no worries at all. It, it's only a Twitch Prime sub. Twitch Prime sub is just perfect, dude. Like, that is uh, that is exactly the same as a regular sub. I have no issues with that whatsoever. Um... Hmm... Hmm. Bunch of two twos and three twos. I think we're actually fine like this. I think our deck is good. Um, yeah, we'll keep this hand. It's a little slow, but we got a crunchy into an ironclad boy. If we draw a feather, this hand is insane. Sure. Come on, feather one time. Oh, look, it's a Michael B. annoying. Well, fashion will lead to the party you are.
Oh, you know what to do. Could play this, keep up both of these. One card in hand. That could be good for us. Uh huh. Yep. Who's the counter going on? If it goes on this guy, we're just going to kill it. On that little dirt burger. Okay. Oh, baby. Oh, that's real strong. <laughs> uh, let's do this first. Griffin, we got the land for it? Yeah, we'll keep the griffin on top. Uh, do we want to attack with 3-5? No. I, I'm glad we... Oh, I guess we had to. Double white and white for the divine strike, so... We're going to keep that because we want to also play Enforcer Griffin this turn. We just want to keep... Making sure we hit lands and things. 4-4 uh, four, four when they have a 4-6 and a 1-4 and a 2-2. Two, two. No, I'm good. That'll help with the Ajani. Yep, I just want to keep hitting lands. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. We're actually at a point where we can almost do both of these. Uh, but I think we can actually just win with Bond and Heartfire next turn if we do that. Oh, we can actually define strike on their turn as well? Oh my god. Sure, that's fine. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, this game is over, I believe. Oh, I guess I did it at the wrong time. Um, they have no cards. And this is what, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, that should be game. Well, that's insane. <clears throat> uh, 
All right, so. I got banned from a streamer yesterday. The streamer asked what she should have for dinner, and I instantly wrote Hungry Howie's and they banned me on the spot. Are you serious? TBB, thank you so much for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna keep this in case we draw a red. I think we're in good shape. Oh my god, Cork. This has literally been like six rounds in a row where people have five letter names of random words. I don't understand. Well, I was really hoping to draw a mountain. But we still we still got a chance. We still got a one a one outer here. Whatever that means. Spots off me monitor. Oh wow, it, it's I mean on the bright side it is it is a mountain. <laughs> it's just a it's just a bad mountain. Right, Quark's not random, but it's still a five letter five letter name with no punctuation. Look, buddy. You know what I'm saying. Eight more pages by midnight is a big yikes. That is a big old yikes, my dude. Do I just get a Defiant Strike here one time? Burning Prophet into Defiant Strike? Okay, all this is fine. Red source is also okay, I guess. We can play double burning profit here. Getting them as low as possible before bond. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna deal eight with bond, so. I mean, theoretically. Defiant Strike with Spellgorge or Weird next turn would be utterly insane. Well, that makes it worse. Even though Narcissus doesn't seem very good in limited. Sure. Narcissus into Cask Dolan. Sure. Let's add this battle to your record of bad decisions. Looking to elevate yourself. Uh, perhaps a pair of stilts? That's actually pretty interesting. Nope, don't care about that, surprisingly. I do care about that. Because it turns our bond on. Honor and courage. With me. They have one, two, three, four, five total power, so they can literally kill one thing if they like infinite block it. Sure. I mean, if they want to activate their their Narset one more time, we get to eat the bird. So. A solid hit. Fury will only lead you Seems astray. Good. Hungry Howie's is a pizza restaurant. Okay. 
you got. To elevate yourself? Activating a Johnny again stilts. seems like a good option. Are they not gonna do anything? Oh, I like this. So, probably just gonna play weird here. Uh, what does this do? Can't throw more than one card each turn? I don't really care about that. Uh, go to your face, go to your face, and go to your face. This is where they can block, block, draw two cards. Seems good. How was the drafting? No beats, haven't you been here the whole time? Okay, you just kill my or it doesn't even kill the bird. Wow. It just goes to a three one, so it's just a two for one? Oh boy. Sure. Yeah, I feel like we're a little bit ahead here, but Okay. Sure. What's your favorite? Why do you guys say Gabby with two Bs? What's that about? More like Wall of Goons. That's true, it is similar to Wall of Goons. I'm gonna gain three life here. Are they just dead? Five, six, seven, eight. Now Let's find out. You see the benefits of All Dovins vetoed this. That's fine. The damage is already done, my dude. Okay, we got it. We got it. Are we going to go 5-1 on both of our first two drafts? Because that seems pretty cool. I'm pretty cool with that. Um, What did they have? A bunch of Dirtles? Dirtles McMurtles? I mean, we can bring the Dovins veto and we have the same odds of casting it as a Johnny. Just counter a Planeswalker. You can also bring in a Sarkin, Sarkon's Catharsis. I actually don't hate that. Wanderer seems pretty rough here. Flavored Crust Safe Zone, you're right. Nope. Mm, yep. Mm, nope. Well, you know what to do. Biscuits. Butter my biscuits. Let's rage and crunch here and next time we can see Healy. No, it's not bad at all. It has nothing to do with the quality. It's not like this is a bad thing that we're advertising. It just became a funny joke. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like. You got it. Did they whiff? I think they whiffed.
Okay, I'm pretty sure they whiffed there. Okay, so we can just kill. And then Tahila would go down to two, so we'll probably just play guy first. Oh, alright, no divine. No Still divine much. favor. Alright, well. Alright, well, lands are pretty cool. I wouldn't mind a land. But I guess we'll just play Sahili. Trigger this. Try to hit a land. Come on. I don't want a really good 4 drop because... Uh Are you guys ready to marvel at my masterpieces? Crunchy man, take me by the hand. We have a new Hungry Howie's here, and I tried it exclusively because that's hilarious. Oh, that's sad. Wait. Wait, what happened? Oh, so I just dealt the damage here instead? That doesn't seem good. I thought it was the other one, the one that makes you sack a guy. It said it's the other Gideon's card. Interesting. So you just prevented three? Alright, well. Okay, what happened? So I was in Arizona for my cousin's wedding like two weeks ago and my parents and I were deciding where to eat. We settled on a place where some of my aunts and uncles were going to eat. Just after we decided, we drove past the Hungry Howie's and I wanted to ask to stop there instead. Problem was, I couldn't figure out how to explain that I wanted to go try their pizza because of this stream instead of going to have lunch with everyone else. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, I opened my mouth to start explaining thoughts like Frank Magic Twitch stream floating in my mind. Thought about it first. You know what? You're like... We'll just go to the regular restaurant. Um, I don't want to use this yet. What is it? Three, four, five, six, seven. That seems terrible. I can just play Prophet number two and Kibo Hearthfire. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep calling it Hearthfire, not Heartfire. Heartfire just seems weird. Mossy Bear, definitely tweet me a pic of it. I, uh, I will laugh. Oh wow, they just sacked that dude to draw, to draw a card? Oh, that seems... That seems rough.
I just found a hungry house 15 minutes from where I live. I'll be getting pizza from there with my wife and I got to date on bills. <laughs> Oh my god, Hungry Howie seriously needs to be sponsoring this stream, Thank dude. You. There's way too much going on. Pretty sure I've been sub for eight months for nearly a month. Wait, is that is that true? What does that mean? Isn't that that should what is what? What are you saying, Morgan? Also, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. You are awesome. Um <laughs> Oh, is it my turn? Pass two attackers. I don't think it's my turn, right? I think it's opponent's turn. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. It's been waiting in the wings for you. I gotcha. Uh, not going to do anything EOT. We could play a big fat Griffy boy. Well, for now, we're just going to attack with... Well, let's just attack with everything here. We don't have any reason to to not do that anymore. Okay. Our opponent is playing very extremely like extremely loose with these blocks here. Next turn we're just gonna win, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh wow, we're one away. I guess we can hearth fire eventually. Heart fire eventually. The, the the magic scene in Logan only gets Howie's because of you. <laughs> okay, that's pretty hilarious. Okay, they just played a million dudes. They commanded the Dread Horde. Alright, so we're just going to win the draft here. Okay, I'm like, you're gonna let all these triggers resolve, or are we just gonna go to the 5 1 status? Claim my sweet, sweet 5 5 1 prize. Look how many packs we have. 15 packs? Let's open 10. How about that? Oh, it's your sweetie boy. Wow, Mythic. Mythic Wild Card, and a Nicol Bolas, and a Jace, and a Teferi Time Raveler, and a Sarkon. Oh man, this pack was, th these 10 were gasoline, dude. These packs were gasoline. Oh, that was nice. All right, we're going to leave the five for next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com. You can find a link and a promo code in the description for 20% off any subscription service, either physical cards or digital Magic Online cards. You can rent either of those, test out whatever deck you want. It's a great service. You get 20% off your first three months with the promo code. And also check out meundies.com slash franklaporable. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And they are extremely comfortable, as many people on the stream and the chat can attest but thank you guys so much for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons i will see you guys next time